This is Empress, and together, we make Demper. Join us this year as we make our way through Central and South America, discovering the people, food, art, and culture this beautiful world has to offer. When we told our friend we'd be visiting Mexico City for the very first time, he quickly informed us that after visiting 130 countries himself, he can say that all hipster neighborhoods are the same around the world. And after arriving in Mexico City and seeing it for ourselves, we can wholeheartedly say that he was correct. And we loved it. Honestly. So, without further ado, here is your complete hipster guide to Mexico City. What's up is down, what's left is right. As the second largest city in Latin America, with a population of a staggering 22.6 million people, there is no shortage of options when choosing exactly where you want to be. For this guide, we recommend you live your hipster dreams in Roma Norte, Condesa, or downtown, all of which are safe and central to everything you need and want for your trip. We chose to spend three days downtown and three more in Roma. Once you decide where you will stay, make your way to a park, any park. The parks in this city are massive, busy, and beautiful. Spend an afternoon under the trees people watching or walk around and admire the statues and monuments that are bound to be nearby. We loved the Palacio de Bales Artes and the gates at the entrance to Chinatown. But to be honest, we prefer to go where the locals are and capture the everyday hustle that we love to be around and are accustomed to. The options for food are probably one-to-one -one with the population, which means there are plenty of options for each price point. Want to spend a pretty penny on a Michelin meal? Be our guest. Would you rather spend just a few bucks and eat on the street? Well, you can do that too. We suggest you do a bit of both and eat around the city. We have tortas, frijoles, and mango michelados for lunch one day, delicious tacos guisados on the street another day, we stumbled upon some super savory choripan while leaving the market, and even chowed down on some classic Shake Shack burgers burgers before leaving the city. Yeah, we know they're not Mexican, but they are our favorite and we could not pass up an opportunity to eat them after five months of traveling. If you want it, Mexico City is the place to get it, unless it's a churro and your name is Empress. You don't like a churro? No. It Why not? Bad. And I, it's, it like tastes burnt, you know, it's burnt, and it's soft, and it's burnt. I don't know what's going on. It's undercooked and burnt at the same time? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Like food, coffee, and coffee shops are in abundance because, of course they are, these neighborhoods know their market and their people. With the seemingly endless options for cafes, it may take some work for you to find your fit. We saw places charging 200 pesos, nearly 12 US dollars, for oatmeal and raspberries. If that's your vibe, the option is there for you to enjoy. But as for us, we went with Cosmos Coffee, a small, tucked away shop that only sits two tables inside. They offer a small selection of bakery items, hot and cold drinks, and fresh pressed juices, which is what we ordered and loved. Totally up to you. to pop in and shop with some local businesses around the neighborhood, especially because there's something for everyone. As for us and you, since you clicked on this video and are still watching, we opted for an independent bookstore. It was filled floor to ceiling with hardly any room to walk. We grabbed a few photography books and then we spent what felt like hours inside of a vintage streetwear store that also carried its own brand. You like them? Yeah, I do. I will get them. Are they, are they too close? To I grabbed a pair of dead stock Mexican vintage denim, and it only took me two days to make up my mind. Just know, this store is a bit pricey. Ready? 
we also tried to find some hidden gems in this music shop that had a pretty solid collection of vinyl and also carried its own original apparel. And did I mention the streets at night throughout the city are still so beautiful, draped in the soft warm lights from the lamppost. And even after the sun goes down, people are still out and about. Because we seek to be lifelong learners and love some good art, the final recommendation is to visit the Contemporary Art Museum. It's just a 10 minute Uber ride away and the trip is worth it just for the photos alone if art study isn't really your thing. We did a bit of research a while back and really wanted to catch this show. So we're glad it lined up with our travel schedule. We can also say that we appreciate the pieces in this collection even more than we probably would have after spending a few months in this lovely country already. Okay, so this piece is called La Vida No Vale Nada, which means life isn't worth anything. And then there's also a saying on the window that says like, you told us um, that you wouldn't kill us, but we're already dead with this salary of hunger. And then on the table, there's these like 3D pieces of coins and plates um, and it's essentially a, it's a commentary on poverty like this is clearly the home where someone who doesn't make enough money to even eat lives and I think it's also sort of a testament to religion and how important that is in you know a person like the, like whose life is like this because on the side on the shelves you have all of these religious figures and that's obviously a big part of you know the culture here but I think it's also a testament to like, this is something that people in poverty cling to because they don't have anything else. Well, you have your coffee, you grab some grub, and you validated all of your totally original ideas and interests all around the city. So, when it's your turn to take the streets of Mexico City, you and your Carhartt cargo pants and Bass Pro Shop baseball cap will be ready. 